Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. It's been a busy, busy day here. Um, I don't know where it went. Got a lot of work done this morning, took a break during the middle of the day, went to the gym, had a meeting, blah, blah, blah. And uh, there you go, the day's almost over. And I had a video I wanted to do, so um, I thought now would be a good time to do it. I wanna talk about raw vegan detox methods today. I do videos every day, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button now, click on that little bell, and check send notifications so you will stay subscribed to the channel. Main reason I'm doing this today, I do videos from time to time um, because you never know, new people start following my channel or I, I get asked questions on Instagram and sometimes I'm like, wow, have they never watched any of my videos? And quite possibly, no, they haven't because there's new people that I get coming in. So I just kind of like to clarify certain things about how I do things, some of my thoughts on things from time to time, just kind of to be transparent how I do things and just so um, not as to waste people's time. That's one of the big things with me. Like um, I love it for, I want as many people as possible to come watch my videos, but I try to, if I'm, if it's not my methods, I don't necessarily try to keep everybody here. I, I, you know, there's other people out there, depending on your situation, that might be more conducive to helping you than I am. And I'm always trying to curate and kind of just like, you know, send people in the right direction. I get these, I get these questions all the time. I must get like my, th my thoughts on juice feasting or fasting at least a few times a week. Um, about cleanses, just various things on cleansing, detox, and fasting, which has just not really interested me since I got into this lifestyle. Honestly, it is the absolute obsession of some. Um, I know some that I've known for probably two, three years through one way or another on, um, you know, like Facebook or whatever. And that's all they've talked about the whole time I've known them is detox. Everything is about this detox and cleansing, which like I say, all the point of this video is going to be is line up with the type people, like line up with people that um, you follow their train of thought or you follow their way of thinking. Um, my main, my main method, I, I simply eat lots of clean food. I eat lots of clean fruit food. Lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of fruit, uh, green leafy vegetables, my kale, my spinach, lettuces. Um, I mix it up with other stuff, but that's it for me. I kind of, I, my, my philosophy is, and like I say, I'm not really, I, I, the whole detox thing just doesn't interest me enough to even really get into debate or whatever. And I'm not saying I'm right. I could totally be in the wrong direction. But um, when I'm cleansing, and I've done videos for you that have watched it for a good while, you've probably seen me do it before when I've gone back to Costa Rica and I've said my kind of cleanse or my cleanse. But basically what a cleanse for me is, it's just um, being very clean. Um, when I feel like, you know, okay, maybe I've eaten more uh, fat than I should for a while, or maybe when I've had a period, like here in the States, where I've eaten more cooked food than I'm used to, I might have a cleansing period, but always that just mostly entails, I just go either cut out the overt fat or I go uber low fat. I did that for about two months when I got back to Costa Rica in April um, I w and I was eating lots of uh, juicy fruits like high water content fruits. Um, and to me, that's as cleansing as it gets. Now, um, follow who makes sense to you. Um, I've got some notes down there. You guys know that all the time. I'm, I'm going to say it doesn't make much sense to ask me about fast and cleanses when I don't have anything to tell you. Do you really just, I mean, I don't, I'm not, I don't, wouldn't consider myself a celebrity. Sometimes I, I make it like almost like that where people will ask celebrities just their opinion just because, well, well, we're just still interested in your opinion. I really don't have an opinion. I say do what you feel is right with you and what resonates with you. But if you are interested in cleansing, fasting, feasting, all this detox stuff, find the right person. Find the appropriate person. I've mentioned this before when um, it's kind of also too when you get at when people will have some sort of a health issue. Um, now this one I can understand when you have a real health issue, you know, people are just like kind of looking to get answers. They're not really sure where to go. But to clarify, it, you know, if you're eating a plant-based lifestyle, especially, and you have some sort of health issue, whether it's something to do with heart disease, diabetes, Lyme disease, which just mentioning this to somebody I know 
when I was discussing Lyme disease. You don't come to me. I mean, think about it. I want you to think about the logic about this for a minute. You've, you find out you've got Lyme disease. You want to know what you can do with it from natural methods, you know, from this diet or and some possible supplements or whatever to do it. You don't come to me because, quite honestly, I don't have the time to go, like, do serious research that I would do, I guess, if I had Lyme disease. So, you know, you go to a person. You go to the person that has, that has Lyme disease. You go to the person that has had success, um, you know, either reversing their Lyme or at least getting it in remission. And the same thing with detox and whatever. Well, not quite the same way, but the same train of thought. If you're interested in feast and fast and fasting, whether it's juice fasting or whether it's water fasting, go find somebody that knows what they're doing with that. Go find somebody that's knowledgeable about that. Go find somebody that has an interest in that. Don't just grab you know, somebody like me that has really no interest in it whatsoever um, to just give you a random opinion because what if I wasn't going to be like straightforward and tell you this? I could just tell you any bullshit that I wanted to and because I'm sitting in front of a camera, some people would probably listen and they would listen like I knew what I was talking about and I don't have a clue. Don't have a clue about um, some of this stuff to do with uh, fasting and cleanses and stuff. So I don't want to BS people. I want to be straight up. And even if that means me sending somebody in another direction to some other source, you know, so be it. Hopefully they'll still come back and watch some of my videos, maybe for entertainment value. But um, find the right person. Find the right person. Um, blah, blah, blah. I did have one note down here that I'm going to make mention of. One thing I will mention is that these type of people, that you, the, the people that are always talking about detox, fasting, cleanses, they always seem to be doing them. So if they were the end-all, be-all, you would do it, boom, that would be it. You know, you've, you've done your cleanse. You know, now you're ready to just proceed on and eat healthy food. Um, which tell and they're the one they're yo-yoing. That's that's what I'm talking about. It's the ones that are so caught up in all this detox, cleansing, and fasting that aren't getting any results because they're so into that stuff. They've never. Here's what I've talked about before. They've never actually learned how to eat. They've gotten into this obsession mindset of uh, like uh, and they and it's even worse if you're in certain groups on Facebook where all the talk is just constant detox. It's almost like they're in some sort of a constant cleanse. As soon as they come off of eating grapes for 30 days, then they go into this. They've never learned how to eat. And that is why they're going to always yo-yo back and forth. They'll do their little cleanse or feast or fast, and they will feel absolutely marvelous, and they'll tell you they've gotten all these results and whatever. And then when they're off the fast of actually, you know, just having that program of, okay, this is all I'm going to do, they don't know how to eat. And then they dirty their body back up, and then they tend to spiral and spiral and spiral, and then until they're not, you know, sometimes they even step off of plant-based. Um... So lots of different methods out there, lots of different opinions. Um, and like I say, I'm not trying to throw it like, I think sometimes I'll go back and uh, watch some of my videos and it might sound like I'm trying to throw shade on um, the whole detox fasting thing and all, but it, I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's just like, you know, that's not my thing, not my thing. And I really don't see me having some big revelation that changes that anytime soon. So, you know, act appropriately. Look for people that, that know what they're doing about it, but try to get somebody that's halfway rational about this. And you know you know rational. You could say, well, what, what do you mean? Rational is an opinion, but you know rational people. Come on. I watch videos every once in a while, mostly just for entertainment. I'm not doing videos to learn about fasting and cleansing or whatever, but I watch videos sometimes. Somebody will send me something or either I'll stumble across something or I'll be researching something. And I'll stumble across somebody, and I'll stumble across somebody that talks about uh, cleansing, detoxing, sometimes juice feasting in certain ways, and I'll be like, okay, this person makes a bit of makes some sense, and I kind of see there, and and usually they don't have such drastic angles. They're talking about, and I do know people that advocate. Um, 
you know, doing like one big cleanse before you get into the raw food. And that makes a little bit more sense to me. But this going back and forth, it, like, like I've said, I've mentioned this in videos before. I've been in groups. I've been in forums. I've, I've seen people write this that like they know they'll talk about somebody will mention like yeah i'm on my third day or my fifth day of detox and they're like oh yeah fifth day is bad i've been through fifth day so many times i'm like think about what you just heard right there i've been through the fifth day of detox so many times that means why why did why did, have you been through the fifth day of detox more than one time um look don't look for quick fixes if you like i say the one thing I will say, if you're just looking, if you are of the thought that it, it's prudent to do like one big cleanse, one juice feast or something to start to get going, so be it. You know, that might actually be a good idea. But once you do that feast or that fast, no matter how long it is, you've got to learn how to eat. If you don't learn how to eat on this lifestyle, if you don't learn how to feed yourself, feed yourself in a clean way, and almost eat where you're detoxing on a regular basis all the time and your body's just staying clean, then you're not going to have um, a lot of results on here. Look at, always look at people. Look who's succeeding, look who's not. I don't, most of the people out there that I look to that have gotten a lot of results that are um, thriving, that are just effortlessly doing this lifestyle, also don't talk anything about feasting and fasting and all that stuff. Some of them, I think, have done, like, and you'd have to tell me here, I don't know, I think even maybe, maybe like Tanny Raw. I think maybe she even advocates, which I can see, like I say, in the beginning, you do, you do some of this to kind of cleanse yourself out, but even, she doesn't preach this stuff all the time. She's not, you know, she eats food. Um, anyhow, just my thoughts on the subject. Like I say, just my opinion. Don't anybody go giving me a bunch of links to all these fasters and feasters and telling me I'm wrong or this or that. I'm not wrong. I'm just telling you that's not my thing. Look for people according to what you need. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.